Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be doing some chicken wings, quote unquote, hot and fast. Okay, we are going to be cooking some whole chicken wings in the Rec Tech 700, and we got the temperature cranked up to 400 degrees. Okay, so we're going to see just how fast we can get these bad boys above 165 degrees, closer to 180 degrees. Hopefully, it crisps up the skin, and hopefully, we get some decent chicken wings at that high of a temperature, okay? So what we're gonna do, so because we're cooking at such a high temperature and the chicken wings will probably cook uh, pretty quickly, we won't get an opportunity to infuse a whole lot of smoke in our chicken wings. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be seasoning, seasoning our chicken wings uh, pre-smoke and in post-smoke, okay? So in this container right here, we have some SPG. We have uh, black pepper, we have garlic powder, uh, and we have some smoked kosher salt that I had made several months ago and hoping that the uh, smoked kosher salt in the SPG will act, uh, will add a little smoke flavor to our chicken wings, seeing as that they won't be on the smoker that long, okay? Uh, we're gonna spray our chicken wings uh, with a little butter pan. I've already dried them off thoroughly, okay? And then this is our, our post rub. So we'll talk about this uh, after they come off the smoker. But let's go ahead and get these prepped. So I don't want to put too much oil on my wings since I just dried them off. But I'm only putting this on here just so the uh, SPG will act as a binder. And like I say, it's butter flavored pan. So hopefully that adds also a little bit of flavor. So we're just going to hit these lightly on both sides there we go all right and now we're going to add our spg now, like i said the salt that i'm using in this spg was done several months ago you can still smell the salt but this was this salt was smoked with uh palmetto wood the same wood that they use during jerk making jerk seasoning uh or jerk chicken so i had ordered some palmetto Palmetto wood, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, palmetto wood off of Amazon. And we smoked, cold smoked some kosher salt in it. So now the post rub does not have any black pepper in it. It does not have any garlic powder and it does not have any salt in it. Since we're going to get all of our salt seasonings and our black pepper flavor from this pre-seasoning, okay? And I'm going to season these pretty liberal. Hopefully, I won't oversalt them. All right. So, I think we're good on our seasoning. I'll reserve some of this SPG to touch up the chicken once we get it out there on the smoker, okay? So we're gonna let the chicken sit here for uh, three to five minutes and get happy. And then we're gonna head on out to the Rectech 700. It's already being preheated at 400 degrees and it's using Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets, all right? So we're, I'm hoping that this post rub here, and I'll put the ingredients on the screen after this, these come off the smoker, uh, will give it a hot Nashville chicken type flavor, okay? So we're gonna season them hot right off the smoker, okay? So check you out up on the deck at the 700. All right, guys, as you can see, we got our Rec Tech non-stick mats down here. We're gonna go ahead and lay our chicken out on those mats. I did wanna separate the drumettes from the flats. I wanted whole chicken wings this time. I'm the only one that's gonna be eating these. Even though it's, it's Super Bowl Sunday, I don't have anybody coming over. So I'll get to enjoy these chicken wings all by my lonesome. But hey, more chicken wings for me, right? All right. So we got all our chicken wings on here and I'm gonna touch up the ones that need a little bit more seasoning. And 
you can tell this grill is hot because it's already smoking some of the seasoning as it hits the plate underneath the, the grates. All right, there it is. So we'll come back in about 30 minutes and we'll check it and we'll see exactly how well this 400 degrees cook goes. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes and the grease from the chicken is hitting the plate and splashing back up. So we're gonna turn all of these over and give the other side an opportunity to get splashed with a little grease from its own fat. They're looking pretty good. Though. I can already feel the skin get kind of tight, so. All right, I'll let these go some more. All right, guys, so these wings have been on the smoker at 400 degrees at for about 45 minutes. They're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and temp a few of them. Oh yeah, 202, 211, just like I like them, 209, so now I'm just going to wait for a little bit more color to get on them, so we're going to give them about another 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're going to pull them off, all right, all right guys, so our chicken wings have been on here for about 50 minutes, and they're looking really good. Go ahead and get them off. Now you already saw that they were over 200 degrees in temp. So they're definitely done. Just a matter of how well the skin did. But they're looking fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and get some Nashville dust on these bad boys. All right, they're nice and hot. So we're gonna hit them with our, our Nashville mixture here. Uh, this mixture has smoked paprika in it. It has cayenne pepper in it. It has brown sugar in it. And it has dry mustard in it, okay? So all of the salt and the pepper and the garlic was in the original rub when we did the SPG with the smoked salt. And this here, I'm gonna hit these up really good. All right, she, let's go in and have a taste test. All right, guys, so we're finished with our cook. It took no longer than about 50 minutes to an hour. We cooked these bad boys on the Rectech 700 at 400 degrees all the way through. They got over 200 degrees internal temperature, so you know that they're good to go. And uh, one benefit of it also is that the grease from the chicken wings was dropping down on the on the plate underneath the grates and was popping back up just like you get that extra flavor when the grease pops down and comes back up off of the coals not quite like the coals but you get to let the grease splatter come back up and then season the chicken even further okay so uh we're gonna go ahead and put these bad boys on a cutting board and uh we can go ahead and have a taste test so let's go ahead and get these bad boys dished up All right, guys, so here it is. We're gonna go ahead and have a taste test and see how these came out. First time doing these like this, so, but I can tell that the skin is definitely crispy, okay, on the chicken. All right, so let's go ahead and grab us one. Ooh, I can smell the, uh, the cayenne pepper on these bad boys, okay? Let's go ahead. Nice crispy skin. Let's have a taste. Wow, these wings are nice, crispy. They're even juicy on the inside, but crispy on the outside. It's got a nice little heat to it. Like if you want them even hotter, you have to douse them with a little bit more cayenne pepper or add more cayenne pepper to the uh, post-rub Nashville seasoning uh, that I'd use. So the description 
or the ingredients will be down in the description block and I'll put them up here on the screen also. So check that out uh, if you want, man, but these taste fantastic. They're not overly hot like you would expect Nashville chicken to be, but these bad boys do have a little uh, heat from the cayenne pepper. Gotta have a second bite, crispy skin. And these are juicy on the inside, crispy on the outside. The sweetness from the brown sugar in combination with the cayenne pepper is definitely excellent, okay? And of course the salt, the smoky salt, but the SPG definitely worked in giving the black pepper with the um, with the salt and with the garlic uh, powder. So man, these are fantastic. I would definitely recommend these anytime, okay? And check it out. I got these done in uh, about 50 minutes on the rec check at 400 degrees, okay? So, so hey, that's about it. If you guys are interested in a rec tech grill, check out rectech.com. Fantastic grills, excellent customer service, and their grills are built like tanks, man. So I love mine, all right? Uh, you can also get the uh, rec tech uh, ultimate blend pellets, okay? And I think it's a combination of uh, 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 red oak, white oak, and hickory. So uh, really good uh, fuel source, all right? But a hey, Check this out. You got to try this if you want some crispy wings. So the key to crispy wings is cooking them at a high degree, okay? You may not get as much smoke flavor as you want, but you'll definitely get an enjoyable chicken wing, okay? Well, that's about it, man. The soup bowl comes on in a couple of hours. I'm going to put these on the side. I'm going to warm these up a little bit later, and I'm going to uh, sit down and watch the Rams play the Bengals in the Super Bowl, okay? Wish it was my Saints, but hey, maybe in the next couple of years, okay? But hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And if you want some merch, hey, check out www.badbeastbarbecue.com, okay? Hey, and as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Man, I'm going to kill these. Woo.